Hello everyone. Welcome to Awareness Hada. We all know that this is the place where you can gain more knowledge. It's never late to start new. So, today I am going to explain about Ketia introduction. It is the main topic in Ketia. Why? Because basics are always important. I will also tell you the important points, those which will help you to gain good knowledge in Ketia. So, let's get started. Okay. To create a sketch, we have several possibilities. Here, it is called as absolute axis definition icon, and this is called as Ketia planning tree. We can draw a sketch. Either by selecting a plane from here, the Ketia plan tree, or from here, absolute axis definition icon. Either by this way or this way. Here, I am selecting this X Y plane, and here also it's highlighting X Y plane. And this is called this icon is sketch. If we select this by going to the sketch part. The tools which are displaying here are different from one module to another. Let's see another module like uh, assembly design. Have a look at this. This is part module. The icons, the tools uh, that it's showing are different from the assembly design. And another one, we will take a for example. Sheet metal. It's also it's uh, the tools which are uh, the Ketia is providing us are different from one module to another module. So there are different tools for different modules. Okay, let's start the sketch. Select XY plane and then select sketch. Remember that depends on the plane you choose for your sketch. These horizontal and vertical directions will differ. This is the horizontal and this is the vertical planes directions. This is the sketcher workbench. Okay, this is the profile menu, and this is sketch tools. This is grid on and off. This is snap snap to grid let's take a line and try to draw it on this sketch look this is incrementing and incrementing a 10 mm why because this grid is we turned snap to point on if we turn this off it allows us to draw freely from here to here like this if we turn this on the snapping is on and the exit value of distances are 30 50 in drawn fingers okay this is grid on and off. Let's have a look at profile toolbar. The first icon placed here is profile. Profile is it consists of line and also here 
when we are selecting any any of these icons or profiles the toolbar exists according to these tools if we select an any profile to deselect it click on the very same icon or pick this arrow mark to escape or select escape key on your keyboard twice press escape key twice okay this is the profile tool we can draw lines continuously and also arc and three point arc this is the first point already we have placed and this is the second and third if you double click anywhere it will also escape this is profile this is profile okay first we have to learn the mouse operations press the scroll button for panning operation this press scroll button and move for panning operation and just press that scroll button and just a single right click will allow us to zoom in and zoom out the objects just press the middle scroll button and single click single right click to zoom in and zoom out the left click will allow us to selection button this only middle scroll wheel is get your planning tree moving and the next press control and rotate the scroll for get your planning tree zoom in and zoom out press control plus scroll and rotate for get ya planning tree zoom in and zoom out zoom in and zoom out press scroll and single right click for zoom object zoom in and zoom out and also press control plus scroll button for object zoom in and zoom out
of press control plus scroll button for object object zoom in and zoom out and now press the scroll button and continuously press the right button of, of mouse will allow us to rotate the objects on the screen here it is or first press the scroll button plus control on keyboard for rotate here it is for zoom in and zoom out press middle button scroll button and single click right zoom in and zoom out and also press control plus scroll button for zoom in and zoom out like this we have two options for rotate also just click the scroll button and continuously press the right click of mouse to rotate the objects on the screen and or press the scroll button plus control key on the keyboard for rotate on the objects on the screen to make to get back to normal everything we have options here fit in all fit all in select normal view we get back to the normal position these two icons okay these are the most operations Scroll press, right click continuously. For objects, zoom in and zoom out. Or press scroll button plus control key on keyboard for objects zoom in and zoom out on screen these are the most operations okay then let's continue our class in the next session so keep in touch with us if you have any doubts or any suggestions please give them in the comment section and we we'll definitely interact with you thank you for watching our video for more updates please subscribe our channel and we suggest you to download our android application from play store otherwise you can click on the link which is located in the below description thank you